All right, guys, welcome back to Smoke One. If you have one, and today we'll be reviewing Don Juan Calavera. And this cigar is sent in by Martin Amaya, once famous. Yeah, I didn't know that the name of the band, the cigar, is under this. Tissue paper, which I don't understand. Why use tissue paper? But okay. But yeah, we'll take it off. Yeah, it make it look like a suit or whatever, right? But yeah, here's a cigar. So, yeah. Shout out to Martin Amaya, once famous. He also have a YouTube page. I will put it in the title and the description if I could. But yeah. This cigar is very toothy. It's a toothy, toothy cigar, man. It's like have a little, little fine tooth all over the place. But the feel on this thing is pet. It's like hard rock. It's pretty pet. Sour Barnyard. Sweet barnyard at the foot. Huh. Sour barnyard in the wrapper, sweet barnyard at the foot. All right, now let's take a closer look at it. All right, here's the cigar. I don't know if you guys can see the tooth on it, but it's like very fine tooth all over the cigar. Yeah, the band is very colorful. I don't know, I don't like skull bands, but that's just me. I don't know, Skull thing just doesn't. I know I belong to this Shadow Legion, Shadow Smoke Legion, but yeah. I don't know, Skull is not my thing. But it's okay. <laughs> Don Joanne Calavera. So this thing is 6x52. The wrapper is Honduras. Binder is Honduras. Filler is Honduras. Nicaragua. MSRP for 10 50 so it's not a bad price either. But look at that vein right there. Jesus Christ. It's veiny, alright. It's not like the cleanest looking cigar. But hey, it's rough too. It's like sandpaper. I think because of the tooth, toothiness of it. Alright. The cap is kind of messy as well. But it could do, I guess. It will do. Alright, now let's cut it and light it. Alright, let's cut it. Nice clean cut. The cold draw. Good draw. But it's like dry wood already. Alright. Let's light it. Spicy espresso. This thing is earthy. Bitter Earth.
What the hell? Is, what happened to that puff? What the hell? And the retro hell, there was just dark spice, earthiness, a little leather, but there's a sweetness on the tail end, but then it turned bitter. Definitely dark chocolate as well on the palate. What happened? The draw sometimes is, 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 this draw is not relaxing. You you have to draw on this thing. You have to puff, man. Wow. Or you get whip, wispy, wispy smoke. But yeah, it's just a little sweet, earthy, leathery on the palate with a little bit of dark chocolate. On the retro hell, it just dirt spice and the sweet finish on the tail end with a little bit of bitterness the bitterness is not like intruding it's just there but you can see we taste it yeah that's pretty much it for this few puff i see you guys at the end of the first third all right guys Welcome back, we're at the end of the first third. So this cigar is rough around the edges, man. This cigar is very rough around the edges. Nothing smooth about it, nothing very pleasant about it. It's just very greedy earth leather. Uh, it's just like a dirty, dirty, dirty finish as well. have this weird dark floral and a retro hell with like white pepper red pepper spice in between yeah the retro hell is not pleasant either but yeah uh, a little bit of like sweetness through there but this thing is rough man there's like no smoothness whatsoever to the cigar yeah on the retro hell there's this weird floral but then it becomes sweet as well so it's not really upsetting but it just very it tastes very rough around the edge like it need to be aged a little more in my opinion but other than that nothing really uh to talk about because it, it doesn't transition it seemed like so far i know i'm just on the first third but it just seemed like it's gonna continue with that flavor now but i don't know we see all right i see you guys at the end of the second third all right guys welcome back <clears throat> with the end of the second third as you can see the ash hold on well but as i expected the flavor did not change it did not transition it stayed pretty consistent with that earthy leathery sweetness uh but it's more watered down though so i don't even know if i consider that a transition because it's more watered down but the same flavor no even on the retro hell, the retro hell, the spice have calmed down, but it's still there with that weird floral, a little bit like dirty sweetness. Yeah, still very gritty. Gritty earth, leather, Hint, a hint of chocolate, but that sweetness is saving it, kind of. But that's all of it, though. That's not 
There's, this cigar is not very complex. It's pretty a straightforward, straight shooting arrow. With the cigar. Oh man, that's that's gonna lose. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, <clears throat> take off the band. You already see the band. Yeah. But yeah, the burn line is great. Everything is good. But um, yeah, it's there's nothing to for me to be raving about, or talk about this cigar. There you go. Don Calavera. All right. That that one have a uh, the retro hell. It's a sharper spice now, sharper red pepper. But other than that, eh, nothing really to talk about the cigar. But let's see the, what the final third will bring us. I hope it bring me something. If the sweetness and it add more chocolate, less earthy and leathery, it would have been a good, it would be a good cigar. But it's just so leather and earth forward with that weird floral sweetness. And it's very gritty. But yeah, I see you guys at the end of the cigar. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're the end of the cigar. Um... The flavor actually transitioned for the worst. It get drowned out. It get very woody. Drowned out wood. Drowned out earthiness. A really weird floral spice on the red cloud. That's very unpleasant. And that's it. Nothing else for the cigar. Uh, so I will rate the cigar from one to ten. Uh, I will give it a three point five out of ten. So yeah, uh, thank you to Martina Maya, once famous, for sending me for giving me this crappy ass cigar. <laughs> But no, it's, it's, it was a good gesture. I love I love everything that uh, gets sent in or given. And I would give it like a fair review all the time, anytime, any cigar. But, um, well, fair to me, in my power. I don't know about others. Others might love it, but not this guy. But yeah, that'd be it for the review. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And i see you next time. And we also... Have a podcast. I will leave it in the description as well. All right. Peace.